uh, and a chance to maybe see a lot of your former teammates? Well, I mean, it's 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 ideal for me because some of the guys I haven't seen in the past, you know, you still communicate with over the phone or something like that, but to get be in person with them and to come back here and talk about some of the old times, some of the things we did, some of the things we should have done, um, it, it's it's uh, it's rather unique. I'm just very fortunate to be able to come back and see the guys and see them in good shape and good health. You played the game with so much energy. What what was it that and just excitement? Like what was it that made you just have that level of excitement for football? I think it was the challenge, the challenge of playing in a big man's game, supposedly, but having fun and having a little bit of success. But what made it more interesting was the guys that played on with me, especially on special teams, we had a lot of fun in doing it. They would think of ways that I could return or or that we can have success. But it was just, it's supposed to be fun. If it isn't fun, why do it? Why, why go through the uh, turmoil and the sweat and everything else that uh, happens in preparation to, to play on this levels? But uh, it's been fun. It was fun from the beginning, and it was fun when it, when it finally stopped for me. What do you think of the the rules as far as like taunting and those type of things? Do you, do you think your dance will, will, will fly in this day and age? I think it would if the uh, if it was up to the discretion of the uh, referee, because I always went to the corner of the end zone, got away from everybody. They followed me. That's their fault. They followed me. You know, and I didn't want any trouble, <laughs> so I, I I think it would get by. Was there anybody else doing end zone celebrations? But when you started doing that. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, different guys did different things in the end zone. Like the uh, guy in Detroit, or um, who else? Um, there were a couple out there. I can't recall right now. How much did you see people? Then, how much did you see it start to happen a lot more after you? It is. It happened. I, you know, I, I think the reason it happened was because they wanted that twelfth man. You know, they wanted to ingratiate themselves to the stance to the fans and that was one way of doing that to get them to come out and enjoy uh, enjoy the game and to help um, help you guys to cheer you on S. Warren when when the Astrodome was full what, what was that like what, what was the atmosphere like there? man it was electric electric it really was it's uh and then they had the little marquee of the uh, sign uh, talking about Go Oilers or whomever it was. It was just exciting at that time. People all coming together, seeing that uh, ocean of blue up there with the little pom-poms. Uh, it, it was fun. You're familiar with Julio from your days in Atlanta. What do you think about what he brings to the Titans and, oh my and goodness. A.J. Brown as well? Whoa. <laughs> when they start hitting on all cylinders, I'd hate to be the defense to try and stop them with Julio when uh, Henry. Those guys, I mean, alone, and then the other weapons they have, they're going to be unstoppable. And I know it's going to take some time for them to gel, but I'm waiting for that moment. Well, I may ask you what on Bum, too, just since he's going in the ring of honor this weekend. What do you remember most about playing for him and just some of his sayings maybe stay with you today? Bum, Bum was very interesting. Yeah, he would do well today with some of the players. He tried to take their talent and uh, let them do what they did best of all and incorporate to his scheme. It wasn't trying to make it, you know, everybody all generic. He just knew everybody individually of what strong suits they had. And uh, I think that's what, made, that's what made us successful. Well, I had a singing career, and um, that was one of the things we used to do. Uh, go on stage, and I would be the... Uh, First act, and I would go out. I'm lying. You know that's not true. <laughs> Sounds like a good night, fellas. <laughs>